G'day guys, Tom from XMS Surf Centre here. I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, looking after maintaining your uh, inflate valve for your kite surf kite or, or wing. Um, now this is a pretty, uh, I wouldn't say universal because there's tons of different systems, but for both the brands we use, both use this system here, which is what's called a Boston uh, inflate valve. Now, uh, basically, you'll, you'll know it if you've got it, air inflates through the top, pushes through, there's a non-return valve, which keeps the pressure. But the most important thing, and one of the issues we get a lot of people struggling with, is a little bit of a slow leak in your kite. Now, generally, this is normally always caused by this o-ring which you can see in front of you here so it's where my finger is now it's that rubber ring that runs around the the, the surface here now what we've got to be careful about is that sand can get in behind that and actually cause leaks in that system there so i'm going to explain to you now how to check for that and also how to prevent sand getting into that valve system so uh, here we go Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try my best with my phone to just show you exactly what I mean here and how we can prevent that from happening. So, let's just have a quick look underneath this cap. Now, here is my Boston valve. Um, you can see, obviously, that screws in there. Now, if you were to lift up this O-ring, see if I can get in there close, you can see all that sand that just sits behind that O-ring there. I'll get in nice and close so you can see. Now that's definitely enough sand in there to cause that to leak. So what we do is every time we go to pump up our kite, have a quick look in there. Now it doesn't have to be 100% free from sand, but definitely want to take that out and give it a quick rub down. So I'm just going to take that out now and you'll see what I mean. Now, if you do ever lose one of these O-rings or break one, we have spare Boston valve sets in the shop, so don't stress. Um, we've got all that available. We carry all the spare parts, particularly for ozone kites. Okay, now what's gonna happen then? You see that is nice and clean and shouldn't be a problem next time you uh, go to uh, inflate your kite and go for your session, you won't be losing air. Okay, so how do you prevent that sand as best as possible from getting into that o-ring? Now, obviously this kite isn't inflated, but imagine it was now, and I was just finishing my session. I will undo this valve, making sure before I do, I can bash any sand away from this area where possible. So even then, it's just taking that sand away, great. Now I'm gonna open that valve. That'll obviously release the main pressure of the air. Now you see here, that goes straight into my bladder. You can see the bladder material there. So you want to be very careful at this point. You don't want anything going in there. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to put that valve sideways on top of that cap. Now, what this is going to do, when I bring this neoprene cover back over, that will still allow the air to come out as we roll our kite up, but it limits any sand going inside there. So it's like a guard base. So the air will still go through, but sand won't get in. And also when it's um, wrapped up, it won't let sand go into there. Now, when you go to inflate your kite next time, always make sure before you do it, that you get as much sand away from there as possible. And then you repeat, re repeat the process, obviously checking each time that that O-ring is free of sand. Now that, if you still, obviously, if you still have leaks after testing that, then bring the kite to us. But I'm going to tell you that, that that's most of the problem we get with leaking kites solved right there for you. Easy and a maintenance tip to save you a session. So hopefully that helps and uh, happy days on the water.